Okay, well, hello everybody. I'm Dr. Howard. We're at Look at Mountain Family Dentistry back in our dental lab at our office. And I wanted to, to take this time since we're actually closed now due to the coronavirus uh, following the, the ADA, American Dental Association guidelines of only seeing emergency patients now for the next three weeks. Um, so yeah, I'll take this time, make some videos, kind of show you guys what we do back here in the back with um, making of sports mouth guards. So we make a lot of sports mouth guards. We do them for the, the local teams here in the area. Um, football, rugby, basketball, lacrosse, a lot of different sports. Um, but yeah, a lot of times you don't know how we make those, so I kind of wanted to show you. Um, a lot of different styles and designs and colors that we can do. Uh, it's real good to have this, this tool here that I have in this box. And it can show you how to put these together. So it, let's look inside the box here. What do we have? Um, so you know we've got the, the plastic comes in a little plank like this. It can be circle round. It can be a square sheet. It doesn't matter. Um, this machine, the, the Drupal Mat Scan, is from Densply. Uh, you hook it up to your compressor and it's a pressurized uh, heating machine that will form these these planks over the, the cast, the models that you have. So this is our cast, our model here. You kind of put that in there, heat it up, it pushes it down and it has a pressure of 6 bar or almost 90 psi. So that's a a lot of pressure there to, to mold these together. But let's look back at our tool here. So you've got um, a, a splicer. You can see the, the lines, the slits here, and it helps give you a straight line when you splice these together. Uh, so we've got a blue one and a gold one that we're gonna make. So we, we cut those two in two halves. And then, so we use that to cut it. Then we've got what else do we have in here? So we've got the little plate that goes down on the bottom, so we'll replace that with. Put this down on the bottom. And we'll put our two halves inside this other plate here. So we're going to heat it up and then pressurize it, and it's going to melt these two together and make one, one piece for us. So to help hold the heat in, it has this little chimney-like appliance that you put on top. And you want to heat it up for about two minutes. We'll do a preheat first. So this preheat will kind of heat up our plate here and help everything melt together there. So we're going to do two minutes on the preheat. Okay, so while that's heating up, we can kind of look at a few different things here. Um, you know, we've already talked to our patient. We've got their impression, their mold, then we poured up the stone model. So it's all ready to be, to be made and used. Um, sometimes you can put a little bit of a, um, a liner on here that will kind of help you not stick together and, and separate this once you've made it. Um, but yeah, we've talked to the patient uh, about their sport, their level of competition that they, they have, and we kind of decided you know, how thick do we want to make this. You know, the guidelines are to, to be effective as a sports mouth guard, you want to have three millimeters of thickness, minimal. You know, other sports, four or five millimeters, uh, boxing, kickboxing, MMA, usually you, you'll make them a little bit thicker. Uh, but for yeah, the high school athletics, three, three or four millimeters is what we're, we're trying to go to. So, you know, this here, the, the normal thickness of these, these planks, these plastics are, are three millimeters. Um, so we'll do this three millimeters and then we'll probably add another two or three millimeter plank on top of that one to get our, our final thickness of three to four millimeters. 
So once this finished heating up here, we're going to place these two halves inside, do it for another two minutes, and then we'll pressurize it and it'll, it'll make this all one plank that we can use for, for our, our athletes' mouth cards. So we do, um, one of the teams is, is the blue and gold. So we have a lot of blue and gold and they, they like to have the, the two colors. It's boring maybe just to have blue or just to have gold. So a lot of them like it. It looks really nice when you've got the, the two colors there. Okay, so it's ready. So let's put this inside. We'll take the chimney off. It helps to have a real nice, smooth cut. So when you make the final mouth guard, there won't be any deformities there. So we'll heat it up for another two minutes. Okay. I just turned it off and turned it back on real quick just to get back to my, my setting. Um, it has an on off switch here in the back. You turn on off. Um, our heat plate, we can move on and off there. So we'll heat that up for another two minutes and we'll use this, this tool. It's called the Funky Tool. Comes in a little box, the Funky Tool. And it helps us make all types of different designs for our mouth guards. So this is our plate that we're going to put on top of that and the pressure canister is going to push down on that and, and push those two pieces and melt them together. I'll show you at the end here how it turns out. But So yeah, you start out with these full color planks. You can cut them into strips or halves or whatever type of design you're going to do. A lot of times we'll even mix together um, some recycled plastic that, that I used. <clears throat> Sometimes I'll keep these and I'll cut them up into very, very small little, little pebble-like sizes. And then I'll melt them together and it'll give you a, a nice black, white, purple pattern here. Black, white, purple. And the problem you have though with, with these planks is they've already been heated and reheated a couple times so they lose some of their elasticity when you're trying to mold it again. Okay, I think it's ready so we're going to take the chimney off. Put the plate over top of that. Activate the canister and it presses it down and now we just have to wait for it to, to cool off. It's good to maybe give that about 10 minutes to cool off and then it'll be ready for us to, to form it over our, our cast here. <clears throat> but right when you're doing these several times they lose their elasticity and sometimes you've got to hand mold those after they warm up with the um, more pressure to get it to really mold over the cast. That's one of the problems that I found with recycled plastics. You can only heat it up and reuse it so many times. Uh, so it's not good to reuse these plastics and recycle them probably more than once or twice. So this one we have already heated up one time. So it's already lost a little bit of elasticity, but not so much that it won't form over the cast. Here. So we'll give that a good 10, 10 minutes here. We'll be right back and we'll see how it turned out. Thing and looked really nice. You know, some of the silver, blue, pink, green. But yeah, let's look at some of the, the other plates that we've made. So this one turned out really nice. That's a nice, nice color there with some pink, blue, and white. 
Um, you know, we've got a, a gray, blue, and white. Turns out real good. Or even just two colors. I don't know. This is two, two Christmas me, you know, Christmas colors. You know, we've got some gold and pink, black, red, and gold. A popular one, a lot of people like the, the yellow and black ones. Those are real popular. But yeah, you can mix any of these colors together and mold it into a new plank and recycle it and you've got a recycled plank there to use. And I'll save these until somebody says they want a special kind and, and we'll make that for them. Okay, I think it should be cooled up enough that we could remove it. Uh, even if it's not completely warmed up, we're just going to reheat it up again anyways to, to mold it over the cast. So it should be okay. So I'm going to push the button, release the pressure. Mm. Mm. We'll remove the plate. We'll open it up. See how it turned out. So okay, so now we've got a new plank there with our customized colors that we wanted. So it turned out really good. So we're going to just turn right around and heat it back up and show you how we we make the, the mouth guards there. Okay, so we'll be right back.